Let's talk about the big news that's just been revealed for Zelda Echoes of Wisdom that we did not know before when we first saw the trailer. This major news fundamentally changes so much we thought we knew about this phenomenal game, and I think most of you will be excited about this. Though this major news was revealed in an official capacity, it kind of feels like a leak since we were led to believe this game was so different, and Nintendo probably didn't plan on this information getting leaked like this. I wouldn't consider this a spoiler though since Nintendo knew this information would come out at some point before the game's release. What if I told you that the little bit of Link we saw in the beginning of the trailer won't be the last time we'll see of him? And we're not just talking about him coming back at the end of the game. As awesome as it will be to play as Zelda, what if I told you that she isn't the only character you can play as in this game? That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Zelda Echoes of Wisdom is that dual player game that we've been waiting for that many have speculated on happening at some point, where you would play as both Zelda and Link for different parts of the game. So what are we talking about? Weren't we just going to play as Zelda here? Let's look at the source of this news from the ESRB rating that came out this week. According to ESRB, this is an adventure game in which players assume the role of Zelda as she attempts to dispel risks throughout Hyrule and rescue Link. From a three-fourths overhead perspective, players explore various environments while fighting stylized enemies, humans, creatures, and so forth. As Link, players use a sword and arrows to defeat enemies. Zelda can use a magic wand to summon creatures, wind-up knights, pick soldiers, slime, etc. for battle. Some enemies can be defeated by being set on fire, other creatures dissolve into mist when defeated. Battle sequences are somewhat frenetic, with several enemies attacking and fighting at once. So, it says it right here, that as Link, players use a sword and arrows to defeat enemies. So yes, we will definitely play as Link too. But what does that mean? How much do we play as Link? Is it just in the beginning? Will there be tag teaming going on here? What are we talking about? This could mean a lot of things. Now keep in mind that this is the only official Zelda game where you can play as multiple characters. Hyrule Warriors doesn't count. They're not official Zelda games. And neither does Four Swords or Triforce Heroes since you essentially only play as multiple versions of Link on those games, not other characters. Now, you might be asking, why didn't Nintendo just tell us we would be playing as Link 2 in this game? Well, they probably wanted to focus on the uniqueness of this game where you can play as Zelda and the unique abilities her tri wand brings into the game. It is a cool new concept. But for those of you who may have not been as excited about this game compared to other Zelda games because things were different with Link gone, guess what? Link's in this game too. And the familiar game playing you would expect Link to bring is in this game as well. This will be awesome to play as both Link and Zelda in an adventure. If you like what you've seen so far, make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on anything. So, what are we going to do as Link on this game? What if we played as Link in the world of Rift where he was drawn into? Notice that this isn't an abyss of nothing. There are sky islands here, folks! And probably a lot more of them, too. It kind of reminds me of Tears of the Kingdom. Other people are drawn here as well. Might Link gather and save these people from the Rift side in a side adventure of his own? And the story shows you what's happening with Link in the Rift and Zelda in the World of Light? It's an interesting concept. And this isn't to say that Zelda doesn't save Link and the other people that fell into the Rift either. Maybe she does. Maybe she stops the Rift from growing where she's at and then opens a safe way to them where the missing Hylians can come back. Maybe both she and Link can tag team where you can use abilities from both characters to solve puzzles and save Hyrule. Or maybe you only play as Link in the beginning where he goes on an adventure through a dungeon to save Zelda up to that cutscene we saw in the trailer. And he falls into the rift. That could very well be all that we see of him till Zelda saves the day. But I don't think so. I think Link will do more in this game too. Who knows? The possibilities are endless and with Nintendo's creativity we won't be disappointed. 
Hopefully, Nintendo releases more information about it next month so we can get more to sate our Zelda appetite. Um, that didn't sound right. I promise I don't want to eat Zelda. Oh no, that sounds even worse. Yuck. You know what I mean, folks. This Zelda game is going to be epic. What are your thoughts on how we'll play as Link and Zelda in this amazing upcoming game? Where does Link come into the picture? Will he just show up in the beginning? Will we play a side adventure with him in the world of Rift? Will you be able to choose between both Zelda and Link for different tasks throughout the game? Or will Link's role be completely different than we've even imagined so far? Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching Alcantar Gaming. If you like this video, you're gonna love this one here.